We are in the studio with the guys. We got uh, Judd, uh, Cam, and Keith from uh, Oklahoma City-based band Pet. So guys, you wanna... yeah, guys, step on up to the mic. Step hello, up. hello, What's say hello, everybody. So, so guys, I, I have to know. I have to know. Let's hear it. We have to tell the name. The name. Yeah, tell me about the name because is, is it a noun or is it a is, verb? Is it a verb? A noun? Is it an verb acronym? Sure. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> these are good questions, and I knew this would be the because top question. This is I've not the most this. common name for for hard work. You're rapids. right. Spill it out for him. Well, I mean, well, you were telling me a good. Well, I gave you an analogy I gave of it, it to today. You. Yeah, yeah. But there's so many different meanings of the of the word pet. Okay, in the simplest form. Pet is it such an easy name to remember. It's just, you know, it's like, because you always hear about, what was that band's name? I can't remember. Well, Pet, yeah. you know, it's, it's just been moral. But, but aside from that, really, like Keith was saying to me earlier today, a uh, big thing about Pet, the name is just that we're basically, uh, you know, in a sense, a lot of us are a pet to society, a pet to, you know, whatever it may be, this hole that just grasps us, that controls us. You know, uh, basically just making us completely unself-sufficient, you know, in, in certain aspects. Of course, so you can go a little bit conspiracy with it, whatever, if you'd like. Uh, also, honestly, the pet really, I mean, like I said, it has so many meanings. But the first name, I was actually at Quill Springs Mall. And uh, there's a kiosk with, uh, basically the kiosk has some sugar gliders, all right? And they were selling the sugar gliders. There was like... A hundred people just hurtled around, and everybody was looking at the sugar glider. And I felt bad for the sugar glider because they were just passing it around. It was just hiding in the pocket, like so scared. So uh, I felt bad for the sugar glider. I went home and I thought about. It. I was like, man, like that animal does not seem like it should be a pet. Yet they made it a pet. So actually, I ended up drawing this image like that night, and it was of a sugar glider. And the sugar glider had a, a human being on a leash, and that's kind of where the whole pet originated from, with this idea of like. Uh, you know, not only in human form, but also in pet form, the way that maybe like pet and something could be in prison, maybe that shouldn't be kept in a situation that it was, you know. So, I mean, it has some deeper meanings, but again, it also has the same simple meaning as like, hey, it's an easy word, it's an easy name to remember, P-E-T, pet, people are going to see their pet, maybe they'll think of us, I don't know, but, <laughs> you know, so it has a lot of meaning, but yeah, I mean, that's kind of in a nutshell. Definitely wanted to keep it short. Yeah. Like I one mean, syllable, two syllables. Okay, yeah. I like that. Um, I, I had another question. It was about uh, how you guys got together. You, uh, I had read that you guys were in school. And, and, yeah. you know, we are an institution yeah. of higher learning here, yep. so, yes. so the, here the college thing the is best. a little yeah. big deal. It so is I wanted to know about, uh, you, you said you, you met and kind of formed the band while mm -hmm. you were college studying. Mm -hmm. uh, what was it you were studying? Yeah, uh, me and Cam were studying uh, sound engineering, production, yeah. actually, and, and yeah, what, music what, production. Where were, you, where were you doing this at? ACM. ACM? Yeah. Okay. Oh. In Bricktown. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And, and then, yeah, man, me and Judd met there, and uh, I hit him up one day a few months later, and we jammed, and that's when Keith came along. Me and Judd yeah. went to uh, high school together. As well, and we played on the ice hockey team together. Yeah. And tell them about. I mean, the, it's uh, a pass. All right, all right. Just to go a little more in depth, like first of all, me and Cam met at ACM. We we're in the same class. We became buddies, and then later found out that we were actually blood cousins. Okay, so what? We were, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, were, we were friends. <laughs> they didn't know it. And then we we're like, okay, well, we're related. This. We have to play. My grandma Let's, told me that that day. She yeah. was like, "Did you meet a guy named Judd at school?" And I was like, "Yeah." And he was like, you know he's your cousin, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. It was weird. It was weird. So, man. yeah, it was kind of a connection there. And uh, me and Cam were always like, let's jam, let's play. Yeah, I mean, we never did it. Always yeah. passed off the idea. Finally, we played, and we got together. We thought we sounded great. Looking back on the video, it didn't sound great. Yeah. But it never, it never <laughs> did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it posted it to Facebook, and Keith saw it, and he's like, you need a bassist? And I was like, what? Yeah. He was like, all right, let's practice. And he just came over and literally was like that. And we started clicking. Everything started coming together. And it was just like, and me and Keith, like, one thing, okay, yeah, we went to school together, high school, uh, met him in junior high. But one day I was looking at my uh, t-ball baseball uh, pitchers. Six years at, old. At, yeah, like five or six years old. And literally, like, he was in that picture. I so mean, we actually played t-ball together. So it, like, literally goes back to... Wow. 
almost second grade, you know. Small, so the small connection world, of right? it was like, exactly. you know, it's like, man, so playing with these three guys, I couldn't imagine playing with anybody else, you know. We tossed the idea of, like, having another guitarist, having a lead guitarist, but I've, I feel like I've gotten better in the role of having to be, like, a lead and kind of a melodic rhythm player, you know, at the same time, so... Uh, we've made it work, man. Three piece that it has its its almost kind of power in its own right, I think, you know. So awesome. Well, let me uh, let me step in here and say for all of those people out there on Facebook, uh, if you have a question for the band, you can uh, just drop it in the comments. Bring it or uh, drop them. You know, if you got them Twitters, or you can tweet them things. Tweet it. You can tweet it to at OU Crimson Metal. And uh, we will try to get a question to the, to the band. And remember that if you're watching on Facebook Live, but you want to, you know, you can't stand that that kind of nasty sound that's coming out of the, the, the crappy iPad speaker, well, you can, you can download an app. It's called the TuneIn app. It's a free app. It's on your smartphone. Yes. And search for KXOU. You can stream it right onto your phone and get a nice... Nice, pretty feed right out of these these fancy condenser microphones we have in the studio that the, your tax dollars help pay for. <laughs> and uh, well, we we've, we've got some questions from the web, don't we? We do, we, we do. And in, so I let's, had let's get some answers there, and then I I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to hearing some music. I, I, I had a question, and I can't see it here anymore. Who 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 it was that posted it? But a, a, a girl had asked, "Does this mean?" That we have some new material coming out. Soon. Okay, yeah, I bet it was Madison, and uh, yes, we do. We've been working on some songs. Uh, we always are. We never stop. Uh, we always want to progress our sound and morph it into whatever comes our way. We just let it come at us. Judd writes everything, and he's awesome at it, and we oh, just kind of tag along. And play what we do. Well, it's so, something we always ask. We're curious of here on the Crimson Metal Show. I mean, how do you guys collaborate? How do you guys write together or play together? Mm -hmm. Come up with mm -hmm. music. Well, I think with me having the duties of guitar and vocal, it really just automatically almost like gives me a lot of leeway to create some sort of melodic, uh, whatever, a riff or something to be like bring to them. Be like, hey guys, do you like this? Like, what does it sound? Uh, you know, something that we can work from. And that's kind of what we did just a week ago. We just wrote another song, and we've already kind of basically kind of structured it all out, and it's became a song uh, in itself. So, I mean, that's kind of what we do is, you know, I'll write a riff or something like that, or I'll have some past music that, you know, maybe that is kind of never, it's kind of been unfinished and it needed to be more in a band format. Um, but, yeah, typically, man, just a riff, you know, bring it yeah. a riff. And that's the how I, the last two we've wrote together, it was just me, like, literally bringing out, you know, a couple measures and yeah. chunking away a riff, you know, and then like, all right, man, yeah, I like that. We can go with it. Let's play it. It's going to sound like crap for a couple months, but we'll do it. Yeah, so it, he basically lays out the blueprint for us, and we kind of just mold to it. Cameron and I, and it turns into a song pretty yep. quick. Yep. Well, why don't we listen to a song? Yep. Yeah. So uh, let's do it. Either answers or gutter boy. All Here right. Well, tell, tell me about answer. Answers is basically I wrote that and basically just a state of confusion and looking for answers, and uh, basically yeah, I mean that's in a nutshell. Uh, just seeming like you're trying, you think you're there, you think you you find some type of revelation or. You're at a crossroads and, and you came to a good place and then right after that you get knocked right back down and you're like, well, what is the answer? Is there an answer? There is no answer, you know. So All that's right. kind of what that is. Well, here we go. This is Answers by Pet. we got a very important question for, for our next break. Oh, oh do we? Yeah. We have a We're, burning question? we got a burning question straight. Uh, we got a burning question straight from Travis. I think it's probably a... A very commercially minded question. I want to know where where are we where can we get the merch and where can we get the music? Oh, yeah. we'll, we'll talk about that. Like where, yeah. where to find we, you guys? We always you know, think, yeah, we're we're always cover that the next show. Yeah. 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 How can people yeah. find you? Yeah. I I like this song. I was grooving this morning. Glenn was loading this stuff onto Dropbox. I kept oh, really? popping yeah. up on my you know, notification. Cool. I kept trying to play it, and he, he changed the name or changed it because it kept cutting off, like sort of halfway through the song. 
embedding the ID3 information, yeah. and then I had to convert it to the right format. Yeah. So I was like, that's a weird place for the song to end. I kept, so I was sort of was half listening to it as I was working. So. That makes sense. They want everything here 48K, 190 Oh, uh, really? Good. Sorry, I could have said that to you. That's okay. I, I, I have a great audio production yeah. as well, so it needs to be easy. Yeah. It, you know, it help. Now, a lot of other students here would not. I, 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 and I like doing that. Like, that was like the first semester stuff right there. And this, uh, this is all we recorded. I, I, you know, like I said, I went to school for production. Uh, so we recorded this literally out of my room. So, I mean, eventually we're going to actually get some here recordings, and that's when we're going to start selling out. So right now we just, you know, demos, Reverb Nation, SoundCloud. That's what the guys are playing on. But, you know, electronic. Yeah. I, you know, the nice thing about electronic is don't bleed. Yeah, yeah that's true. Everything's that pretty true. Good. Easy to say. Yeah. And then if you don't like the sound of it, you can probably not get yeah. out of it. Yeah. You don't have to, you know, because you got no bleed. It's it's perfect. You can set the threshold on the drum guard really tight. Of course, you know my latest track is 100% MIDI. Oh really? Oh, really? Guitar, bass, keys, drums, everything. It's all MIDI. Oh, it's all MIDI. Yeah, it's all easy drumming. supposed to go back in and retrack it at some point. Except that I have to shoot a music video next weekend for my cinematography class. And I'm using the song the way we <laughs> Because we don't have time to do any tracking. So hopefully when we do track it, it doesn't look too different when I resync it to the music video. Like the guitar riff's not that much different. Or the drumming's not that much different than what the music drummer is. Yeah, that's the bad thing about Mickey Mouse, spot on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's hard to incorporate the velocity and each hit. But he's a drummer too, man. Is that a third party thing? Easy drummer? Yeah. 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 It's actually has a drum kit there and you can oh, see it. It's beautiful. What we'll happened to our music? That's, a, that's the end of okay. answers. All right. Well, I guess I dropped the ball on that one and didn't realize that we were going back on the air. So yeah, we started talking about gear. Oh yeah, yeah. we we got we, got, we, we, we love gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. we are back. We are back on on air here within the studio here with with Pat. So guys, um, hello again. I I know Joel's got a question, but before we segue into that question, I wanted to know about your sound because the one thing I noticed originally was this man. This has really got. A Seattle kind of grunge vibe, to yeah. It. Especially, especially the track uh, "Bending Walls." That was, mm -hmm. I was like, "Wow, this is this is like Seattle grunge right here." So, is that a particular sound that you're no, of? Is to, it to me, that that's all very odd, man. You know, because well, okay, obviously, I, I my influences lie in the Seattle music. You know, a lot. My influences are there, but when I write, it literally I just write. I don't ever have a thought of like, man, I want to make this grungy feeling or something, you know, so I literally just write, I've loved Alice in Chains, Mad Season, Soundgarden, Pearl Jam, Mother Love Bone, Green River, all, all these different bands, you know, Skin Yard, all these great bands, and so much more, I love so much music, so, but, I mean, that has definitely played a, a large influence into my music and how I write, because I think a lot of what I write is kind of, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of angry, it's kind of aggravated, you know, the, the lyrics and the content and the context of it, so that kind of also kind of, I think, maybe correlates it to that whole kind of dissonant, kind of darker, uh, you know, uh, grunge sound or whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, not in general, no, I, ne I never think like, no, I'm going to write this and, and it's going to be something that kind of flashes back and, and fits into that kind of, that grunge uh, Seattle template. But I'm so thankful that people are able to correlate with that because, hey, I'm, I mean, I'll accept that, you know, every day. I mean, I think it's a good thing for me personally, so... Well, people, I guess people really can. I know we got a comment here on our, on our live from Demi, it looks like. He's saying, I really like Pat. You renewed my hope in good music. So that's something Woo! awesome to hear. So, and, yeah, and that's, that's, awesome. thank you. Yeah. that's thank a huge you. comment because... Yeah. Love yeah. it. That's a huge I, I have very little Thank hope you. recently, so... 
<laughs> yeah. That's thank you. Yeah, thank you. That's it's that's great. That's um, amazing to hear. So the rock doc, I think, had a, had a question that he. So guys, um, I uh, am a, a, a kind of a hybrid musician. I'm, a, I'm an opera singer, and nice. I'm a metal musician. I'm starting awesome. a project of my own called Flipsis, which is right now just my brainchild and and whoever can be in the band. Glenn is in it, and our buddy Kevin is in it, and. Um, I, I just I am I'm a professor of music here at OU, um, so my question is: You guys met at ACM, which is just up the road, which is also a music school, um, but it's a contemporary music school um, uh, affiliated with the University of Central Oklahoma. Um, so, did you guys get credit, college credit, for these songs? I'll yeah. just say this now: I didn't finish school. <laughs> That's uh, okay. I'm, I'm a dropout. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was slacking. Well. I got a bachelor's degree, and it was from UCO, so apparently it's accredited for, for here, so, yeah. But I mean, could I, you... I think that what he was trying to find out is whether any of the songs we're going to hear tonight were stuff that you, um, Charles, Did. you wrote while you were in school, no. or any kind of project, that sort of thing. Yeah, not mm -hmm. so ever. No, no, actually, and, uh, you know, I, I love ACM, um, but I'll just say this. Um, when we did create songs there, they basically paired us with the group, and the, it was a songwriting class, and they basically paired you with miscellaneous random uh, people. And I remember the last time we did was, yeah, I was paired with miscellaneous uh, musicians, but the theme was to write a basically Taylor Swift themed song. So basically, <laughs> if you can imagine, and n hopefully no one will ever hear this, but I had to sing, and I wrote lyrics basically that was like in Taylor Swift theme, and I sang it in that, and I'm not proud of it. And that was a moment that I don't ever want to relive, you but know, I did that. Honestly, that would have been a great track for you to have shared. <laughs> and we could have, we could have no, 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 oh, no, no, no. No one will ever bring the country to the table. I'm the country <laughs> fan of the band. And I'm always trying to bring the country to the We get in the car, they want to ride with me, I'm turning 96. Oh, um, you know, okay. Whatever, yeah, some country we heard on the way here. And yeah, <laughs> I would, you know, usually it's the driver who gets to gets to uh, the yeah, radio. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be honest, I'd yeah. never let you drive. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was like, damn it, Cam should have drove. <laughs> <laughs> well, All right. Well, hey, guys, we also want to know I mean, if there are fans out there, if they want to find find you guys, find mm -hmm. Pat, where can they go? Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh, we got some... Yeah. I'm hearing some music coming from somewhere. Let me... Uh, let me... You got you go ahead. Oh, sorry. You okay, sorry for the interruption. But, guys, can you tell us, like, where can, where can well, fans okay. find you? Yeah. Um, where can you get... Your music, the absolutely. Sort of thing. Um, let me just say the main thing is what, if you try to search pet, you're gonna have a really hard time trying to find us. Um, yeah, so definitely when you search pet, just uh, on any platform, most platforms Facebook, Instagram, SoundCloud, Reverb Nation, Twitter, uh, YouTube everything is gonna be under pet music, okay. Okay, so literally, if you just search yeah, that, you will literally find us. That's, that's, that's the only way. That's like our tag. So that's our ta that's our handle. So um, that makes us searchable, so that you could find okay. us up on all those social platforms through Pet Music. Okay. Well, that's awesome. I know we'll get you guys a link here on the Crimson Metal Show. Uh, how about? Uh, do you guys have any upcoming shows anytime that we can expect to see you guys play? Yeah. So tell us about that. Okay. What's, you know, what's yeah, next? Go for it. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. We, we actually we're gonna take a little break to uh, do some uh, studio recording, but we it's hard to take a break off. We just want to play shows. We so love much. playing. Yeah, so we're going to play uh, uh, Your Mama's Place, uh, April 27th. We haven't played there before. I mean, it's kind of a little dive bar, so we figured we'd go check it out, play uh, with this band, uh, Shields, that's coming in from Austin. Um, and then uh, the 28th, we'll be at the Railhead in Lawton. Um, so, uh, yeah. Love that place. Two days in a row. There you go. In April, then uh, we'll have some other stuff definitely in the plans after that. You guys are playing the Railhead. Yeah. Now, yeah. traditionally, that's that's a metal venue. It, it is a, me a metal venue, but you know yeah, what's yeah, odd about it is that, is that we're, we've been able to play with metal bands, and we've been able to play with, uh, you know, other types of music, and... Uh, we even played a show at 89th Collective that literally had like hype groups and rap artists. Mm -hmm. And somehow we were able to touch a couple people with like this certain song. And it, 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 you know, we kind of actually bring on the attempt to, to, to reach a different audience like that who yeah. is used to a different sound. And, and we like that. So somehow it, 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 it kind of works in an odd way. You that's, know? Yeah, that's very interesting. Well, before we we go and uh, and we we've got we've got the guys from from Baron Ruins from Wisconsin. Awesome. They're going to be uh, yeah. They're going to be joining us here in a few minutes. We're going to play one more of your songs, and the song is called Gutter Boy. Gutter Boy. 
Now I have to tell you that in, uh, I think it was early 2000, my cousin and I decided we were going to go to professional wrestling school. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, nice. Okay. Yeah, and we were going to be the trailer park kids, Dream tag big. team, tag team duo. And we went, to, we went to school for three months. And his oh. name was Trash Boy, and mine was Gutter Boy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm looking at this song, and yeah. if I ever decide to get back in the ring, Gutter Boy, I, 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 have, I, have, I have, you some, have to. This I have is some the theme intro music. song. I, to. I have some intro you, music you here. Right, guys. Without the monster <laughs> drink out of your mouth, you have the Gutter Boy. <laughs> What more could you want? Exactly. So <laughs> you're going to so <laughs> Tell me about Gutter Spin Boy real quick. All right. Forward. Gutter Boy is simply a self-reflection reflection song. I mean, basically, it's just a state of mind of saying, hey, you know, your mind is in the gutter. You basically need to get a little bit more positive attitude and stop being so in the dark, man. All here right. We well, here we go. This is Gutter Boy by Pet. Yeah. Cool. That's awesome. Oh yeah, we're getting some love on Facebook Live with this song. What gear are you guys rocking? I've got a uh, self tech uh, MIG 100, which is like a Russian amp that was made. Yep. Yeah. Uh, very, very early. It yeah. only lasted about three years. And I play a, uh, a Fender dual cut telecaster, so it's kind of more weird. And then I have a uh, Les Ball, and I've got a one more using free metal. Kind of gives you that old kind of flexi distortion sound, you know. So I play a. Yeah. Oh yeah? <laughs> <laughs> it takes like a 9 volt battery. Okay. It's awesome. Yeah. We love the sound though. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I played through a... I was going to cover that anyway, so... Rumble. Oh wow. Which sounds all right. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, you guys heard the five. The bass sounds good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then you got the pearl. 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 It doesn't have to be... Yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be complex if it sounds good, especially if you're on a power trio. Yeah. 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 That's what I was thinking, man. Like, it's 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 slightly unpolished, a little more raw, I guess. I'm gonna get a new bass 